General Motors is shooting for the stars with the all-new 2010 Buick LaCrosse. GM is looking for Buick's newest sedan to compete head-to-head with luxury stalwarts like the Lexus ES350 and the Acura TL, a task no domestic automaker has achieved so far. The General is giving the LaCrosse a great shot at success with two excellent powertrains, top-rate fit and finish, and sheet metal that screams, this ain't your grandpa's Buick. My personal favorite part of the entire car is, aside from the exterior proportions where um, everything starts with the centerpiece, which is the grill, and then the sweep spare as it emanates from this grill along the top of the, along the top of the lens all the way back, and then juxtaposing that with the belt and that beautiful surface, twisting surface that you get within those, within those two lines. It's a bifunction um, HID system. Projector moves with the uh, the motion of the steering, so that when you're going around corners, lights the, the the dead spots on the road. They have a little bit of dihedral, so they, they climb on the outside, and they all sit in these these cool cubes with a with a we call it a spider web inside that creates all these complicated reflections. So from from right behind, you get a very intense uh, light, and then as you come around the side, it, it becomes impossible to count how many LEDs are in there. The tailpipe sits only three mils away from the rear fascia. Um, it's a nice tight fit appearance so it's got a very you know luxury up level sophisticated look to it and the, the exhaust system runs in behind that so that there's a, the, a distance inside so that the, the heat from the exhaust doesn't you know create a problem for the fascia. fascia. Yeah, it doesn't melt the fascia. The LaCrosse is easily better looking than the current LaCrosse or Lucerne Yet the best work was done on the inside. The new LaCrosse exudes luxury with rich materials, top-notch technology, and ambient lighting that really attracts attention. You see a very strong theme uh, that is uh, very, very much accented with beautiful, graceful curves, uh, a very strong horizontal theme uh, accentuated with the wood grain. Um, you'll see real stitching on all the parts here. These are hoods are handmade, take about a half an hour per hood, just by hand stitching. Um, the attention to detail down what we call the uh, center stack or ICS integrated center stack area, a lot of functions and features, touch screen with the nav. Um, we have tap up, tap down ability on the shifter. Uh, you have electronic park brake. And then for the controls, uh, we put all the main controls and features uh, up on the top band, and then your climate controls in the silver lower area are all of your HVAC climate controls uh, on the bottom. Um, very simple dials to use for your volume and your tuning. But uh, the layout, just trying to keep it simple with uh, the major functions in the center, climate control on the bottom. We created this ambient lighting uh, throughout the interior, something you've never seen before, uh, and, and it's, it's baked throughout the whole vehicle. One uh, light that starts here and then goes all the way across your instrument panel, so you'll see one nice, very constant glow. And then we have areas that um, glow also, which is including on the side of the console, uh, both in here and up underneath here to glow down into the floor footwell. The new LaCrosse also scores two technologically advanced powertrains. Both the 3 liter and the 3.6 liter V6 engines will utilize variable valve timing and direct injection to achieve 260 and 280 horsepower respectively. When we take these vehicles to market we'll have an all high-tech powertrain lineup. Our next generation of high feature V6s, a 3 liter in the base car and in the mid-level car and a 3.6 liter in the up-level car. These feature our very latest direct injection technology. The base car is about 260 horsepower and the CXS level at 280 horsepower is about a 6.9 second zero to 60 car. The LaCrosse is the first global midsize sedan built in North America. The new architecture will be stiffer and more athletic than the current front drive Epsilon platform and it will also utilize the same state-of-the-art all-wheel drive system that's also found in the Saab Turbo X. This really is an entirely different car from the current Malibu, which is a great success for us as well. It's built on the next generation architecture, so we're starting from a much different, stiffer 
uh, great architecture and all of the fundamental architecture work as well as the fundamental chassis and suspension work was done in Europe utilizing really the legendary German engineering techniques to get us to very dynamic ride and handling. In terms of refinement, ride and handling, isolation, and a quiet environment, it is a terrific car. Very, very competitive. The 2010 Buick LaCrosse will be available in late spring 2009. For Autoblog, I'm Chris Schunk.